Stephen, probably the biggest acquisition deal that we saw in 2023, of course, was the year-long saga that was Broadcom's landmark pickup of VMware. This felt like a roller coaster thrill ride. I want you to take us through a little bit of what happened, not only pre-acquisition, but post-acquisition, because buckle, buckle up, folks, you're going to need the edge of your seat for this one. Yeah. Absolutely, Tom. Uh, this may be the biggest story of the year if you ask IT pros because, of course, VMware is a cornerstone of the industry and has been for decades. Basically, the entire time we've been doing Gestalt IT and Tech Field Day, VMware has been where it's at. Uh, we watched VMware go through many changes. So, uh, you know, we saw VMware be acquired by EMC. We saw EMC acquire Dell. We saw um, VMware sort of in and out with the special purpose thing and all that. Um, but then, yeah, in um, uh, 2022, Broadcom announced that they would be acquiring VMware. Now, this took a lot of people by surprise because many people weren't aware that Broadcom has been a major player in the uh, enterprise software space uh, longer than this. I mean, they, this has been uh, a, a, a market for Broadcom much longer than uh, just the VMware acquisition. But of course, as you say, there was a will they, won't they, <laughs> will they be able to uh, question this whole time. Uh, we talked about it in July uh, when it, they announced that they were expecting to clear. Um, I think I remember expressing some skepticism of that, especially in uh, November when China announced that it was going to be delaying the deal. At that point, I was really sure that it was going to be delayed further, but guess what? Didn't happen. It was cleared. It was closed. Uh, November 22nd, uh, we talked about the fact that the, the deal closed, and uh, VMware is now VMware by Broadcom. Uh, unfortunately, as we would expect, uh, things didn't all go uh, smoothly. We saw uh, some layoffs before the acquisition actually happened and, and it actually closed. And we've seen more uh, since the acquisition. We've seen a reorganization of VMware and a spinoff of some things. Uh, we talked uh, actually just last week about uh, VMware spinning out their end user computing and uh, carbon black uh, security units. Um, no, those aren't uh, spun out yet. They're just announcing that those are not going to be part of the company going forward. Um, we also talked in some detail here um, last week with Keith Townsend from Futurum about the uh, implications of VMware's new licensing scheme. And I think that a lot of people are kind of surprised that here we are after the acquisition and the story is not, wow, Broadcom already screwed it up. The story is, oh, that's interesting. Broadcom is doing some things that make some sense here with this product, with the company. Um, you know, it certainly is, is uh, something that hurts a lot of people in the, uh, you know, friends who work there and so on who have uh, uncertainty about their jobs or maybe uh, don't have jobs uh, at VMware right now. But um, overall, I think that the, uh, the dust is settling and it's settling into a sort of a sensible place for VMware. We'll see where it goes for the long term. I think there's still a lot of cynicism about uh, VMware under Broadcom. But, uh, you know, so far, well, so far it's been a series of um, at least good business moves.